Hello and welcome to Akash Baiju's. My name is Atiullah and I'm here with some important updates regarding JEE Main 2022 registration. Now I know all of you are super busy but we need to understand the registration process well and execute it perfectly so that we don't have undue stress later on. So here are the updates. Important dates. So candidates can apply for JEE Main 2022 Session 1 exam from 1st to 31st March 2022 in online mode only. Okay, so those are the dates. Where are you going to go for registration? You're going to go to jeemain.nta.nic.in to register for jeemain session one. Okay, more dates. So forms can be filled till 31st March 5 p.m. That's the cutoff. Fees can be paid till 31st March 11.30 p.m. Okay, but guys, don't wait till the last moment. Complete your registration as soon as possible. Now, announcement of the city of examination is going to be in the first week of April and downloading of admit cards from NTA website is going to be in the second week of April 2022. So do keep an eye on that. Make a note of these dates and no corrections will be permitted after the form has been submitted. This is very important. You have to double check, triple check the form, make sure all the details are perfectly filled because there's no scope for any correction. Next, now you can apply for J Main 2022 session two exam between 8th April to 3rd May 2022, again in online mode. And the forms can be filled till 3rd May 5 p.m. The fees can be paid till 3rd May 11.30 p.m. And the announcement of city of examination is going to be in the second week of May 2022 and admit cards can be downloaded in the third week of May. Okay, again, no corrections are permitted. Are these dates clear? I hope so. What's next? What is the duration of the exam? So first shift is going to be from 9 a.m. to 12 noon, which is three hours. And the second shift is going to go from 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. Make sure you sleep well before the exam and you are well rested. All right. Now the registration process is a three step process. The first step is registration. So you're going to create application number, password and provide basic details. Then we go to the second step, which is the application where you fill in the personal details, examination cities, qualification details and upload documents and the third process is fee payment okay so it's a three-step process do keep that in mind now there are some very important pointers which needs to be discussed for each application the email address should be unique so make sure you're using the correct email address okay uh, maybe you can create a new one so that you don't get confused with other ones but make sure that for one application you have a unique email address Form filling and fee payment must be done separately for each session at the time of opening the portal for that session. Okay, the candidate cannot apply for both the sessions together. So right now the window is open to register for session one. So do that. Once it is done, then the window is going to be opened again for session two. So you can register for session two at that time. Okay, and if someone has not appeared for session one, they have not filled in the form for session one. They can still fill in the form for session two. Is that correct? Okay, so right now you have to go and register for session one. And obviously the best score among both the sessions will be considered for merit ranking. Now this is important. Date, shift and slot of examination is allotted by computer randomly and candidates can't select it on his or her own. Okay. If J main clashes with other national state board examinations, NTA will check the issue and rectify it as per the availability of examination dates. That is something on the part of NTA. So you don't need to worry about that much, but uh, you need to make sure that whatever exams you are writing, hopefully they will not clash with J main. What's next? It is mandatory to upload documents regarding special benefit cases like 
general category sc st obc category so if you fall into this category you want to use that to your advantage then sure uh, you need to have your documents okay you need to have your certificates so it has to be original scanned copy in prescribed format issued by the competent authority of respective state okay so you need to have that certificate with you okay you need to upload that and in case you do not have that certificate then what you can do is you can provide an undertaking in the format given on the information bulletin between these pages so the link to the information bulletin is in the description box you can check that out what's next the choice of cities will be provided based on the present and permanent address okay so when you're filling your present and permanent address make sure that is correct make sure that is the place where you want to take the exam because your allotment of city is going to be as per that and candidates cannot change their selected exam city okay so make sure you're filling in the right addresses all right now for updates and notifications you can download the sandesh app okay this is a secondary channel of information apart from email and sms from nta okay so this is additional source of communication you can certainly use that now in case when you are trying to fill up the form and there is browser error so you are getting continuous timeout or file not found error if you are getting this kind of error then in this case you should number one obviously ensure good internet connection use updated versions of mozilla firefox and internet explorer okay so do keep that in mind and you sometimes if you clear cache and cookies then uh, it may work fine for you if it is not working previously and check in off peak hours okay so it may happen that uh, everyone is trying to register at the same time so you can choose off peak hours to do your registration all right what's next they have helpline numbers also you can make a note of these helpline numbers and this email if there's any confusion anything you want to ask you can certainly communicate over there also if you have more queries then the faqs are provided by nta and you can check that out this is the link the link is in the description box so you can check out the faqs very very helpful so go through that and also you can download the information bulletin from this link which is also in the comment uh, i'm sorry which is also in the description box okay so that is it from my side uh, guys don't make a mistake or don't be slack in completing a registration process do it asap and do it correctly so that you don't need to worry about undue stress later on right so that is it from my side thank you very much for watching this and wish you all the best for jmain 2022 thanks